Follow the steps on the Start Here Sheet. The Start Here Sheet shows you how to physically set up your printer. When you get here, install your printer software. If you are using a Windows computer, insert the CD that came with your printer. If you are using a Mac or your computer does not have a CD or DVD drive, download and run the product's software package from the Epson support site. When you see this screen, turn on your printer, then click Next to install the software. This can take several minutes. When you see this screen, select the Wireless Network option and click Next. If the installer is able to detect your wireless settings, you see this screen, click Next. Then follow the rest of the on-screen instructions. The installer will automatically connect the product to your network, and your setup is now complete. If the installer is unable to detect your wireless settings, you see this screen. Select the Enter Network Name and Password Manually option, and click Next. Click Next. When you see this screen, look at your printer's control panel. Tap the Home icon. Tap this icon, then tap Wi-Fi Recommended. Tap Start Setup, then tap Wi-Fi Setup Wizard. Tap your network's name, then tap the Enter Password field. Next, enter your wireless password. If your password contains upper or lowercase letters, be sure to enter them in the correct case. Tap this icon to enter uppercase letters or this icon to enter numbers or symbols. Tap this icon to enter a space. Tap this icon to delete characters. When you're done entering your password, tap OK, then tap Start Setup. Follow the rest of the instructions on the computer screen to complete wireless setup. You are now ready to print wirelessly. If you want to print from another Windows computer, insert the CD that came with your printer. If you are using a Mac or your computer does not have a CD or DVD drive, download and run the product's software package from the Epson support site. When you see this screen, select your printer from the list and click Next. Follow the rest of the instructions on the computer screen to complete wireless setup. You can repeat this process for additional computers. You are now ready to print wirelessly from your computers.